Jerusalem. And the plotters who brought down first Boris Johnson and then Liz Truss and engineered, as I said, the return of the, of the Remainer establishment back into power are probably now starting to realise the scale of what they've done. Who leads Britain is to a great extent decided not by calculations of national interests, but by the wishes of the political class, Britain's permanent state. And a political leader who comes forward and says that they want to do those very necessary things, those very simple things, which you outlined. The permanent class is going to make, the political class, the permanent state, the deep state, if you like, is going to make absolutely sure that they're one, never made prime minister, and two, if they do become prime minister, well, they're shuffled out of the scene um, within weeks or days. The British political class has finally started to understand how catastrophic the situation in Britain is becoming. So this mood of chaos and panic that you're seeing in Westminster at the moment is reflecting the sense of panic within the political class that things are going spiralling out of control, that the economy is spiralling out of control, that or that everything, in other words, is going wrong. So that's why you're getting all these warnings in the media. Don't even think of changing course on Ukraine, because perhaps, for all we know, there are some people, Sunak possibly, you know, he's a clever man. Uh, people like that who are thinking that this is the time to cause a change. But for the moment, that acceptance has not taken place. It will be a massive defeat for Britain, or at least for the political class who rule Britain, if they were now to change course. And at the moment, they're not prepared to uh, accept that kind of defeat.